You're about to watch the simplest explanation of private keys and public keys as it pertains to crypto. Let's get into it. So I know that this illustration is a bit much, but let me explain. So Elon Musk had thoughts of his ex and he just couldn't get over it. So he actually spent days and nights listening to Taylor Swift's music and it helped him to get over his ex. As a thank you, he wanted to send her five Bitcoin. Now, Elon Musk uses a crypto wallet called the pig wallet and Taylor Swift is going to be using a crypto wallet, which will affectionately refer to as the monkey wallet. This is their digital cryptocurrency wallets and Elon Musk wants to send her five Bitcoin. So how does it all work and what the heck are private keys and public keys? Now to make it easy, let's pretend that Elon Musk's pig wallet has exactly five Bitcoin in it. And let's say Taylor Swift's monkey wallet has just one Bitcoin in it to start. So the wallets are actually protected by a public key and a private key. This is how crypto wallets work. That's the whole part of crypto, cryptography, right? So let's discuss that. What is a public key, which I've denoted as silver colors here? So this is referred to as the public key because you can totally go ahead and share it freely and it's used to receive Bitcoin or verify signatures. We'll get to signatures in a second. But why is there also a private key? Well, that's the beauty of the cryptography aspect in cryptocurrency wallets. The private key is a secret key used to authorize transactions. It's like your email password that you must keep private. So it's also important to point out that from your private key, the public key is actually created but you cannot figure out your private key by just seeing the public key. So again, it's totally okay to hand out your public key. So how is the transaction of Elon Musk sending five Bitcoin to Taylor Swift completed? Well, Elon is going to enter Taylor's public key, that is her Bitcoin wallet address, as the recipient in his wallet and he's going to specify the amount of Bitcoin he wants to send, which in this example is five Bitcoin. So then to go ahead and send the Bitcoin, Elon has to use his private key to sign the transaction. What does it mean? What does it mean to sign a transaction? The signature proves that Elon is authorized to send Bitcoin from his wallet to someone else. The signature is cryptographically linked to Elon's private key, but doesn't reveal the private key itself in the transaction. That's the beauty of the crypto world. It is secure in that sense. So what happens then? Well, the total transaction, including Taylor's public key as the recipient and Elon's cryptographic signature is broadcast to the Bitcoin network. Now, even though it's broadcast to the Bitcoin network, the transaction is visible to the network, but Elon's private key always remains a secret. So the next part is Bitcoin miners and validators. They go ahead and they check everything. This is the process where the miners go ahead and earn money from solving hard problems, proof of work, right? But we can cover that in a different video. What I want to point out is that Bitcoin miners and validators, they check that Elon's signature is valid and matches his public key. Elon's wallet also has to have enough Bitcoin. So they have to go ahead and check that there is at least five Bitcoin in Elon's pig wallet in order to complete the transaction of sending five Bitcoins to Taylor. Once validated, the transaction is going to be added to a block on the blockchain. In Bitcoin's case, each block is created every 10 minutes. So now the Bitcoin is going to arrive in Taylor's wallet. So what exactly does Taylor Swift have to do in order to retrieve this Bitcoin or to transact with it? Well, Taylor's monkey wallet listens to the blockchain, in this case, Bitcoin's public ledger, and what it's going to do is it's going to listen until it detects the transaction to her public key. 
the Bitcoin is now associated with her public key on the blockchain. In order to spend this Bitcoin, Taylor would actually need her private key to sign any future transactions. And that would include transferring the Bitcoin to an online exchange like Coinbase and then transferring it to US dollars or if she wants to go ahead and send the five Bitcoin to one of her many exes to thank them for the inspiration of her writing her music. So again, I wanna summarize, the private key is never shared or transmitted, so it can't be stolen during the transaction. And also the signature verifies the sender's authority without exposing the private key. One of the reasons I made this video is because I was trying to explain public and private keys to someone and I was going to send them an article explaining it, but they used the concept of signing your signature on a check as your private key. I understand why they would do that, but that's such a terrible example because signing with a signature and then giving a check to someone, that is now public information. They could see that signature. It's important to point out the private key is always kept private. As a matter of fact, most people like Elon and Taylor Swift, if they're using something like Trust Wallet, they don't even know their exact private keys. What they know is a seed phrase. And maybe in a different video, I will explain the difference between a seed phrase and the private keys to a crypto wallet. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to detail the simplified process. And that is that Elon Musk created a transaction using Taylor's public address. Then Elon's wallet signed the transaction with his private key. The transaction was then broadcast to the Bitcoin network and then the network verified the transaction to make sure that it's a valid signature and sufficient funds were in Elon's account. And then the miners confirmed the transaction by adding it to the blockchain. And then Taylor Swift's wallet updated to show that she received the Bitcoin. And if she has the private keys, she can access the monkey wallet and then transact with that Bitcoin. By the way, if you've ever heard of stories of people losing their keys and not being able to access their crypto, this is the private keys that they lost, which absolutely sucks. And a healthy portion of people, especially in the early days that owned Bitcoin, actually lost their private keys because they never thought it would really amount to anything. And this is obviously a disaster for them because they could probably still see it on the public ledger. They could still see their wallet if they know the wallet address. They just cannot access it because they don't have the private key anymore. You need the private key in order to actually access your wallet and sign off on transactions. I hope that helps you understand public and private keys in crypto. If there is another topic that you wish for me to cover simply, please mention in the comment section and I'd be more than happy to do so.